What's up? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, being subbed. If you're not, hit the button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit the like. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into the real of reality TV. Talk to me nice. Talk to me honestly. about a week since this Married to Medicine trailer came out for season 11 and I want to talk about I'm not going to talk about everything but I have questions I have questions and I am definitely looking forward to the new season coming up I am going to watch it but listen I I have questions because it's like now Phaedra is talking about she's focused on Real Housewives of Atlanta she kind of checked out of Married to Medicine but last season it was all about Married to Medicine and the Medicine Girls and the Medicine Wives and they have real jobs. And if I was around this group of ladies versus the other group of ladies that I was around before, maybe my marriage would have lasted. And I found that funny because it's like, girl, you were the one that decided to leave your husband to rot, <laughs> let him go to the bail hearings, the the trial and the sentencing and all all of those things and didn't even show up you just kind of checked out of the relationship and was like I want a divorce and and you got what you asked for so I didn't see any woman on the Real Housewives of Atlanta pushing for her to get divorced in actuality I feel like some of them Candy was not really understanding why it was just like she was just ch so checked out immediately. And it wasn't like, I, f I didn't feel like Candy chose Apollo over her, but Apollo at the time and Todd were friends. So if they had some sort of agreement for Apollo to hold some of his stuff up in their garage or whatever, and he agreed to do that, then... I mean, Candy didn't owe anything to Phaedra, especially when Phaedra, she checked out of the relationship completely. But I just kind of found that funny because it was like last season, it was all about the marriage of medicine ladies, never showed a relationship, never showed a man. But now on this season in this trailer, it's showing her with a man. And I'm like, okay, so maybe that was before. <laughs> Real Housewives of Atlanta came calling and saying that, hey, you know, we want you back. But the other thing I wanted to talk about, and I want to know what you guys think and what you feel about it, Quad with this new man. Now, I don't know if the man is in medicine. So maybe because we knew they were bringing her back. So maybe it would look better if she has a man that's in medicine. But if he's not, then I would still venture to say, why is she still on the show? But if she is, okay, maybe I'll give her a little bit of a pass because obviously they want this woman on the show. But two, I find it very convenient that last season when people were saying, why is she back on the show now? All of a sudden she has a man. I just find that suspect. I hope that it is a real relationship. I hope it's not one of those alleged Kenya situations where people were saying that the relationship was a business arrangement and it wasn't a real relationship. But I was even giving Kenya the benefit of the doubt with those other situations. But I honestly feel that, this is just my feeling, <laughs> that not saying that Quad can't get a man or she hasn't been dating anyone or anything like that. But I really find it strange that you're in a relationship with a real man and he's just so gung-ho on being on the show. I don't think most men would feel comfortable doing that, especially just, you know, stepping into this and this being something that's kind of new and fresh, unless that man has some issues, they are a narcissist in some way, 
and they love the attention and that's a huge red flag or it's a business arrangement and he said, okay, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this for the cameras and he's getting a little, you know, cut of the check too. I don't know. Those are just my thoughts. I really want to know what you guys think. I put the video link in the description box. I didn't show the video. I just played the audio. But um, yeah, when I saw that, I'm like, yeah, really? My man, my man, my man? Uh, I don't know. I, I feel that it's suspect. That's just my thoughts. It's my opinion. You can feel free to let me know yours in the comment section. Again, not saying that she can't scoop up a man. Not saying that she is undateable or unlikable or unattractive. Quad is a pretty woman. I mean, she's definitely over the top with the theatrics and the soap opera, you know, <laughs> the soap opera lines and all that other stuff. But she definitely has, a, she, she's beautiful. She's got a good body. Just sometimes the wigs are questionable and that that hairline and that forehead like <laughs> Mariah said Qua without a wig that's Mr. Potato Head I'll never forget <laughs> I will never forget when she said that as classic but anyway guys you let me know your thoughts about it in the comments thanks for being here liking and subscribing I'm Beth just being beautifully honest so until next time I wanted to keep it brief beautiful and now I'm gonna say bye